Alright guys, my iPhone 4S here today. I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your iPhone 4S on 5.0 and 5.0.1 jailbroken. And uh, make sure your phone is jailbreak. And once you jailbreak it, you're going to get Cydia and you're going to go into manage. You're going to go into source. And you're going to go ahead and edit. And then add this repo over here. It says uh, repo.banger.com. Okay, so once you install that, you're going to go ahead and get Sam, and you're going to go ahead and install Sam. In this case, I already got Sam installed, so I'm not going to do so. And once you install Sam, your phone's going to go ahead and respray. And after respray, you're going to get this icon right here, and then this icon right here is going to say Sam Prep. Okay, so what you're going to do is, once you get Sam Prep, you're going to open it up. You're going to grab your unofficial uh, SIM card, the one that you're going to be unlocking to. In this case, uh, we're going to be unlocking this uh, Sprint iPhone 4S here to AT&T. So you're going to grab your AT&T SIM card and you're going to go ahead and insert it into the phone. Just like that. Okay? Once you insert it, you're going you're gonna to go ahead and go on to uh, more info and you're gonna go into utility you're gonna go ahead and deactivate and you're gonna go ahead and go to utility again and you're gonna go ahead and attempt to activate it okay and once you attempt to activate it again this process could take anywhere from three minutes to six minutes so in the meantime, you want to go ahead and grab yourself something to drink, you know, like a nice cold beer or soda, and just let it sit and let the SAM application do the unlock for you. Again, your phone has to be jailbroke in order to do this. So, like, like I said again, this process could take anywhere from 3 to 6 minutes. And there you go, your phone's going to go ahead and respray again. Once your phone respray, boom, up there, you already got AT&T. See that? To make sure that it is working, we're going to go and call it out. 611. Welcome to GoPhone from AT&T. There you go, guys. Right, guys. Uh, this time, with the same phone that's locked to Sprint, we're going to go ahead and uh, unlock it for T-Mobile. Since we already did it with AT&T, we want to make sure it works with, with T-Mobile. And as you guys see, there's no Javi SIN or anything in there. Just in case you guys thinking that I'm using a Javi SIN or a R SIN to unlock. So there you go. We're going to go ahead. You're going to go back onto your SAMS prep. You're going to go ahead and get in. You're going to grab your T-Mobile SIM card again. Going to go ahead and insert it in just like that. You're going to get a voicemail and go ahead and okay that. Okay, I'm going to go to more info. Make sure you get all these numbers right here on the IMSI and all this. Okay, so go ahead and go back. You're going to go ahead and go to utility. Okay, and make sure that you know you have the attempt activation still, you know, up there. So you want to go ahead and go to able, make sure it's on manual. Because Sprint and Ryzen has to be on manual. Okay? And then you want to go ahead and activate it. So there again, this process could take anywhere from 3 minutes to 6 minutes. Okay? So... <clears throat> You just got to be patient, wait for it. You know, this, there are still, you know, a lot of fix and bug that has to be, you know, fixed on this SAM uh, source, unlock source here. But it's better than paying six or seven hundred dollars for an, for an unlock iPhone from Apple. So there he goes. And you see T Mobile just pop right up there. Easy as that, guys. And we're going to go ahead and call T-Mobile make sure that it's working. T-Mobile, America's 
largest 4G network. Para continuar en español, diga español o marque dos. There you go, guys. That just proved that everything works. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment or you know send me an email, and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions for you. Thank you.